viewers i hope you all are doing great welcome back to our youtube channel the engineering projects in this tutorial we are going to learn about the capacitive touch sensitive pins of esp32 these pins can sense the presence of a body that contains electric charge esp32 offers 10 gpio pins which can be used as touch sensitive for example you can see this touch 0 which is connected to gpio 4 and touch 1 which is connected to gpio 0 similarly we have 10 touch sensitive pins in esp32 these pins can be used to sense the presence of an electric charge or to generate an event like to wake up esp32 from deep sleep mode Uh, we can also use these pins to replace the push buttons let's move towards the programming part open the arduino ide again we have some example codes available in arduino ide for esp32 touch sensitive pins to access those codes go to file then examples then esp32 and at last we have this touch and then touch read so this is the code the code is very simple inside this setup function we are initializing the serial communication at 115200 baud rate for debugging purposes and inside the loop function we are using this touch read function to continuously read the output of GPIO 4 or T0 pin of ESP32. Now click on the icon to upload the code into ESP32 board. Make sure you have selected the right development board and COM port. the output of t0 pin is 67 the output is at 20 like when we are holding the pin and if we release the pin then it will re reach to the maximum value that is right now it is more than 60 so similarly if you again hold the pin it will again decrease to T2 development board. As we mentioned in the code that we are using this D4 or T0 pin of ESP32, which that is a capacitive sensitive pin. Now the we are using this male to male jumper wire. Hold the opposite end of the wire, and you should see the output of this D4 pin will start decreasing. whenever a body that is carrying some electric charge holds the wire and we know that human body also carry 
electric charge. So you can see the output on serial monitor as well as on serial plotter. Now let's take another example. In this code, we are going to generate an interrupt using these capacitive touch sensitive pins and that interrupt will toggle the LED that is the inbuilt one with a delay of one second. So let's have a look at the code description. Again, we are using this T0 pin, which is a touch sensitive pin or you can say GPIO4 and we are using the inbuilt LED. We are setting a threshold value that is the output of this T0 pin and if the output of T0 pin decreases below this 40 then LED will start toggling. This is the initial stage whether the some charge is detected on T0 pin or not. And uh, inside the set of function, we are initializing the serial communication at 115200 baud rate. Here we are setting the built-in LED as an output and the initial state is low. Here we are using this touch attach interrupt function to attach the interrupt to this T0 pin and here we are passing three arguments. First one is the touch pin and then the status whether a touch is detected or not and third one is the threshold value. Next is this touch de detected function where we are just checking the status whether it is true or not. And inside the loop function, we are using this if statement that is a conditional statement. And, and if the, a touch is detected, then the LED will start blinking with a delay of one second or a thousand millisecond. So that's all about the code description. Now click on this icon to upload the code into ESP32 development board and again make sure that you have selected the right development board. Again, the threshold value will increase more than 40 and again the LED is blinking. So this concludes the tutorial. We hope you found this of some help and also hope to see you soon with a new tutorial on ESP32. Till then, goodbye.